Infor BI Q&A is an Excel add-in that provides an intuitive and easy way to extract data from some systems for analysis and reporting. It has a number of functions that allow you to extract data in different ways as well as post data into Sun systems. Summary link is used to create a query that returns a single aggregated value or amount. For example, if you wanted to show the account balance for one or more accounts. Summary links are often used to create balance sheet and income statement reports. Summary report is used to create a report that returns a summary or balances of aggregated data grouped by specific fields and is useful for getting account balances or a trial balance from the system. Detail report is used to create listing reports such as extracts of reference data or journal listings where you need to see every record in the system without any aggregation. Reference link is used to create a query that returns one or more values from a single row within a data source and is used to display reference data such as account, vendor or address information relating to a particular cell on your report. Recalculate is used to recalculate or update formulas within a workbook, worksheet or for a specific range. Datasend is used to post data from Excel into Sun Systems. You can use Datasend to import a large number of reference records such as accounts, addresses, analysis codes, currency rates, etc. or to post journal transactions into both the actual and any of the optional ledger tables in Sun Systems. Drill Path Manager is used to manage BI Q&A drill paths within a workbook. Summary Drill is used to drill down into the details of a selected cell or formula and break it out by specified values. Transaction Drill is used to drill down into the transaction that make up the aggregated value. Breakout creates dependent worksheets for each item on which the breakout is defined. Unlike the standard breakout report, the breakout on summary report generates breakout sheets based on the summary report query and not on the aggregated results. Expand is similar to summary and transaction drill down, but expand and collapse icons are displayed on the left of the worksheet, enabling you to view the expanded results or only the totals. Alert Schedule is used to define tasks and schedule them to run when required. For example, you could create and schedule a task to save your Excel workbook at a specified time every day. Schedule This Workbook creates an alert task for the active workbook. Utilities provides access to other BI Q&A utilities such as Report Migration, Hierarchy Designer, and Product Tasks. For additional information about the BI Q&A functions, please refer to the help. When you click on any of the data extraction functions, the query definition window is launched. The query definition is the main user interface used for extracting data from some systems into Excel through BI Q&A. The query definition screen is made up of three main areas, the filter, the selection list, and the output list. The summary report and the detail report have an additional report style tab that allows you to apply formatting to the report at runtime. The summary link and reference link are not report functions, but link functions, and therefore do not have the report style tab on the query definition. Let's take a closer look at the filter list. And before you select the table that you want to extract from, you need to uh, specify the business units, otherwise you will uh, get a warning message show on the screen. Additional filter items will be added to the filter depending on the table that you're extracting from. So in our case, we selected the ledger table and therefore the ledger and the account code as well as the accounting period have been added to our filter list. They are shown in bold to indicate that they are mandatory filter items and therefore must be specified before extracting the report. 
to enter a filter value, simply click on the filter item that you want to filter on, enter a from and to value, or you can click on the lookup button to bring up the lookup list for that item. Alternatively, you can also double click on the filter value to bring up the lookup list. You can select contiguous and non-contiguous ranges of items. So use the uh, shift key to select a contiguous range of items and use the control key to select a non-contiguous range of items. You can also use the control key to deselect individual records from a previously selected range of items. You can add additional items to the uh, filter list from the selection list by simply right-clicking on an item and then selecting Add to Filter. You can also click on an item and then drag it and then drop it into the filter list. To remove items from the filter list, simply click on them and then hit Delete on the keyboard or alternatively drag them out of the filter list and drop them back into the selection list. You can also add items directly from the filter list to the output list by right-clicking on the item and selecting Add as Output Field. The selection list contains a list of all items that can be reported on from the selected table. The list also includes fields from child tables that are linked to certain parent fields from the selected primary table. An icon to the left of the field indicates the item type and includes alphanumeric fields, date, time, and period fields, currency or amount fields, number fields, and child tables. Child tables are linked to the primary field right above them in the selection list and allows you to select fields that are directly related to the primary field that they are linked to. For example, the account description and the account type fields are located in the chat of accounts child table. Therefore, if you are reporting from the ledger table, you will need to expand the chat of accounts child table to add those fields to your report. You can also search items in the selection list by using the search box. Simply enter the text that you want to search on and uh, hit enter on the keyboard. The first item found matching the search text is highlighted. Hit F3 on the keyboard to search for any additional fields containing the same text. Right-clicking item in the selection list reveals additional options for that item, such as Add to Filter, Add to Output, Select Root Columns as Output, and Add to Favorite. Different views are also available for the selection list. We have the default view, the favorite view, the last used view, and an alphabetical view. There are multiple ways of adding items to the output list. You can simply click an item and then drag it and drop it into the output list. Or you can uh, right-click an item and selecting Add to Output. Or you can also double-click an item to add it to the output list. To rearrange items in the output list, simply click on an item and drag it into the position where you would like it to be. To remove items from the output list, simply click an item and then hit delete on the keyboard. You can also select an item and then drag it back into the selection list. If you need to remove multiple items, 
you can hold down the shift key to select a range of items or you can hold down the control key to select individual items and then hit delete on the keyboard. Alternatively, if you want to remove all of the items from the output list, simply hit Control A on the keyboard to select all items and then hit delete on the keyboard. If you have added items to your favorite list, then you can easily add all of those items to your output list by hitting Control A on the keyboard and then dragging and dropping them into the output list. Items are sorted by default in the order they appear on the output list. You can change the sort order for your items by right-clicking on any item in the output list and select Sorting. This will bring up the sorting dialog. Then simply double-click on an item to sort that item in an ascending order. Double-click again to sort that item in a descending order. And double-click one more time to remove any sorting from that item. You can sort multiple items by simply double-clicking the items that you want to apply sorting to. Any items that are being sorted will appear with the sorting icon in the output list under the sorting column. Different extraction types can be applied to certain items, including outputting description instead of code or splitting or segmenting an item. You can see the extraction type for each item uh, by looking at the extraction type column. And then double clicking an item in the output list will bring up the extraction type dialog. Different items have different extraction types. For example, the base amount will allow you to do a count, an average, minimum and maximum, as well as a distinct sum and a distinct count. You can also reverse the sign and choose an appropriate scaling factor from the dropdown. This concludes our overview of the query definition.